Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I can't believe that it is New Year's Eve, the end of 2017 and almost the start of a brand new year. This year has gone so fast. I am sure the older that I'm getting, the quicker the years are going. It's just absolutely crazy. So anyway, I thought a, a good video for today would be to talk through my most used beauty products of 2017. So these are the products that on a day-to-day -day basis I have reached for mo most often and um, are therefore some of my, my favourites. It's by no means all of them, I've just done sort of my top 10 because otherwise we could be here all day with me talking through all of my favourite pro products of 2017. Um, but let's get started. So the first product that I want to talk about is the Laura Mercier Foundation Primer. This is a really nice primer. Um, before I used this one, I used to use the Benefit Professional and the Smashbox primers as well. And then my friend recommended the Laura Mercier Foundation Primer. I actually prefer this one. It just seems to be a bit more nourishing on the skin. And I find that it um, is just really, really good at keeping my makeup in place for longer. And also just the look of how my foundation sits on top of this primer is just really natural. And um, it doesn't look dry or too cakey or anything. And that's why I really like it. I've actually almost got to the end of this one. And I already have another tube ready and waiting for when this one is completely finished. So that just shows how much I love this primer. Next is a foundation that I have been using so much over the last few years. It's the same foundation that I go back to time and time again. I do dip into using other brands every now and then I fancy trying something new but without fail I always come back to NARS Sheer Glow. Now I've got combination skin most of the time but in the last few months I've been suffering really badly from dry skin and even my holy grail skincare products are not doing anything for me. I don't know what's going on. Um, it must be the weather or something I don't know but regardless for combination skin and dry dry skin for sure. NARS uh, Sheer Glow works wonderfully. It provides a very natural finish. You don't have to apply too much. It um, also isn't too cakey. It's natural looking, but it does provide good coverage, particularly for those days when you have maybe got a few more blemishes or a little bit of redness and things. It does a really good job at covering those. I love the glowy nature of this foundation as well. I much prefer glowy foundations to mattes. I just feel that they make my skin look a little bit more natural um, and in terms of coverage again although this is good coverage I it's not heavy coverage I don't like that feeling when you feel like you've got layers and layers of makeup on um, and this feels like you're almost wearing nothing which is why it's one of my favorites I tend to apply this with a damp beauty blender and it's just amazing I love it Next is another NARS product, and this is the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. I only started using this in maybe the second half of 2017. I not tried the concealer as well, maybe they'll work really well together, and it turns out that they do. This concealer is great to use under your eyes if you want to um, cover dark circles, but also to cover blemishes. It's really creamy, it doesn't dry too quickly, so you've got plenty of time to blend it into your skin, and it's pretty long wearing as well. Um, I do occasionally touch it up a little bit if I've got all day makeup going into evening makeup as well. Um, occasionally I'll touch it up very slightly but it's not normally uh, necessary very often and the best way I find to apply this concealer is with a little brush so I, I dab it on um, where I want it, I then blend it in a little bit with a brush and then I tap it on um, into place with my finger. I find that the heat from my, my skin helps it melt into my skin a little bit more to have a little bit more of a flawless finish. So my third product is actually another one by NARS. Um, sorry, this video is not sponsored by NARS and actually when I was picking them out I didn't even take much notice of the brands that I was picking. I didn't realise that I had so many NARS products in this video, but I guess NARS was a favourite of mine for 2017. So the next NARS product that I want to speak about is a blusher, and this is 
the colour Sin, which is a really lovely sort of plum toned blush, which I mostly use in autumn and winter, but I've also been using it a little bit more throughout the whole of the year. It's a really nice sort of natural colour. It looks quite scary in the palette. It's quite dark and um, not very interesting looking really, if I'm honest. It does look quite a boring shade in the palette, but when you apply it to your cheeks, it gives you a really nice pop of colour and um, which goes with so many makeup looks. The next product that I want to show you is a well-known product from Charlotte Tilbury and this is the Filmstar Bronze and Glow palette. Inside here is a lovely bronzer which can also be used as a contour because it's pretty ashy in tone and also a lovely highlighter that looks amazing on your cheekbones and brow bones. The reason why I love these products so much is one, it's great for travel because it's a pretty sleek looking palette and you've got two products in there which to be honest you get so much product in there it could easily last a lifetime. Secondly they blend really nicely into the skin and I find that they don't emphasize your pores which some powder products can do. Um, obviously you're laying product after product on top of your skin and sometimes by the time I get to sort of highlighter and bronzer I find that it can look cakey and highlight my pores really badly but I don't get it with these products at all. Um, I also love the tones of them so the highlighter gives a really beautiful shine but it doesn't make you look like a disco ball and the bronzer because it's not too orange toned it gives you just a natural sunkissed look. Um, you don't sort of go out feeling that you've put too much on, obviously don't go crazy and be too heavy handed putting on too much product, just build it up like you would with any products but um, it doesn't leave you looking orange and like a horrible really defined like streak on your face where you've applied bronzer, it just blends in really nicely. Next I want to share with you my most used eyeshadow palettes throughout 2017 and they are pretty similar. Um, they are actually the both by Urban Decay. The first one is the Naked Basics palette and I love this because it's full of neutral tones. I'm not really one for adding a lot of colour to my eyes so I always am drawn to neutral toned palettes. Um, as you can see this is well worn. I only actually got this last year and I've already hit pan on two of the shades already. So um, I love this palette. It's really good if you're travelling because you've got all your, all your colours in there for one makeup look if you wish. They're all matte shades except for the highlighter. And also depending on what shade you need you may be able to use this palette for your brows as well. Um, probably more so the second palette that I want to show you. So this is the Naked 2 palette. So it's pretty similar to the first one, the only difference is that this one is cooler toned whereas the Naked Basics one is warmer toned so it really depends on what kind of makeup look you are going for. I love this one in particular if you want to do a very um, blended smoky eye. Um, this palette is perfect because you've got all the different shades where you can build upon them to really get that flawless blended finish in your eyes. So if you want one palette to achieve that then this is the one for you. One thing that I find it obviously doesn't have a great um, shade for your, your lid. You're looking at all matte palette, all matte shades in both of these. So you may need to um, add a different shade in if you want to maybe add a little bit of sparkle or a pop of colour to your lid. But in terms of basics, like the name says, then these are both amazing palettes and I will go back to them time and time again. Next up are my favourite lip products for 2017 and I've got three here to show you. They're all quite similar tones, so they're all very natural looking sort of your lips but better looking shades. Um, it's actually quite unlike me. Normally I transition my lip colours from spring, summer, autumn, winter, um, choosing more dark or berry tones during autumn and winter or a red and in spring and summer going for a lighter pop of colour maybe with some gloss and sort of baby pinks and um, corals and those kind of shades but last year I found throughout the entire year these are the shades that I picked up over and over again and actually one of them I had to repurchase because I had used it so much so two of the shades are by MAC 
So one of them is Syrup, and out of all three, this one is probably my favourite. So Syrup is definitely a Your Lips But Better colour. It's um, a deep pink nude. It's a lustre finish, so it's very um, moisturising on your lips, it doesn't dry them out at all. But I do find that you have to reapply it, in fact that's true to say of all three of these shades. They're not shades that will stay on your lips for hours and hours, you do have to reapply them. Which is a downside, like it's not ideal, but at the same time I find that sometimes lip products that do stay on your lips for hours can be a little bit drying so because my skin and lips are quite dry at the moment anyway i'm really trying to avoid those products if possible because i don't want to dry out my lips even more so the second lipstick is another one by mac and this is modesty so this one is not as pink toned as syrup it's also um, a little bit darker than, than syrup as well. But again, because it's very neutral, it goes with any makeup look. I love that um, these lipsticks can go with um, a simpler eye makeup if you want a very basic makeup look, everyday makeup, or if you're going for a really heavy, smoky eye, these are great lipsticks as well. Like, they really do go with any makeup look that you want. Um, the third one, again, a similar tone, slightly more pink, and this is definitely one that I would always wear in spring and summer. This is one by YSL. Um, the number has rubbed off of the bottom, but I think it might be 37 or 34. I can't remember. I will put a link below um, if I can find it. This one is the most moisturising lipstick out of all three and it gives a glossier finish than the other two as well. The packaging is also beautiful. I mean, this is just so lovely like to take out in the evening and have this in your evening bag and when you get it out, it just looks so pretty. I just love YSL. I think they have hands down the best packaging of any beauty brand. And that's a really big thing to say, I know, but I, I, I really believe it. I think it's beautiful. Um, so those are my lip products for 2017 that I loved. And last but not least, I have got a mascara. Now this is a mascara again, which is really a, a um, holy grail or cult product for me. And it's by YSL. This is their classic um, volume effect Fossils uh, mascara, just in black. And the reason why I love this is because it volumizes my lashes and it also lengthens my lashes at the same time. Um, I don't have to compromise picking a mascara that does one or the other. It also is relatively long lasting um, in terms of the product itself. So some mascaras once they're open you have to use them up within a few weeks because they dry out so much. This one does last around five to six months without drying out too much and on my lashes themselves it's long lasting as well. It doesn't transfer to my upper lids or lower lids, stays in place all day and it's pretty easy to get off at the end of the day as well. I just use um, my Emma Hardy cleansing balm to remove my makeup. I don't often use a separate eye remover because my eyes are so sensitive. I try to do as little as possible and I find that using multiple products sort of irritates it more and more because I'm constantly like rubbing in my eyes. Um, but with the cleansing balm, this comes off a treat and doesn't leave any traces. Um, very, very easy to do. And um, again, the packaging is, is super pretty. One thing that I do find with this is that I do get a little bit too much um, product on the brush. So every time I use it, I do always have to wipe the excess off. Otherwise, my lashes do go a little bit too clumpy. And um, yeah, I just don't get the definition that I want. So if you are going to use this mascara and you're finding that, I would definitely recommend just removing a little bit of the excess and your lashes will look so much better. Thank you for watching my video. I really hope you enjoyed hearing about my most used products of 2017. I'd really love to hear about yours as well. Um, so if you could add a comment below, um, 
telling me what your favourite products of 2017 were for beauty products, then that would be amazing. I would love to read through your comments and I might even find some new things to try. If you've got any recommendations, then please let me know. Please like and, and subscribe to my channel. I do plan on doing more videos and um, practice makes perfect, right? So I will, um, I'll keep at it and hopefully um, I'll have a lot more content to bring to you in 2018. Thank you for watching. Bye!